Shout out to the trappers, we all about back, back, lit is we out of here, out of here, any man, battle rap trap, and we definitely got the streets. D out again, man. D out of here, man. Put it on your YouTube. Hold on, I'm about to start adding people. Hold on, real quick, man. <clears throat> Give me one second, one second. I'm gonna start this shit out saying, uh, you gotta love battle rap, man. A lot of y'all motherfuckers. There be a lot of dumbass shit going on in battle rap. And I'm finally learning how to plug and unplug myself from the Matrix, to be honest. And that's the beauty of everything. Um,. I've really been in a good space lately. I've really been, like, having nothing but good, positive vibes around me. I've really been, like, on some, like, trying to, like, make myself happy and shit like that in battle rap. Um, the reason I've been trying to do that now is during a time of, like, turmoil. It's a lot of people switching sides. It's a lot of people changing. It's a lot of people... Uh, viewing me different it's a lot of people you know got a lot of shit to say about a lot of shit i appreciate those because those help me wean out the the rudy poos and jabronis um that shit also helped me see like who really fuck with a nigga and who don't because this is battle rap at the end of the day a lot of people are only fans and they only uh they only got shit to say when it's battle rap later and they only got shit to say when they see somebody else say it a lot of battle rap shit it's not personal opinion type shit it's follow the trend type shit excuse me it's more so i'm gonna ride the wave of whoever moving or got motion at the moment so i'm gonna just follow them and they run with narratives and shit like that so like i'm learning how this shit go and people will be like you know you and your four for fourth or fifth year or whatever so you should have been no bro it's better rap shit change every day it is it's weird every day for all you motherfuckers that running with these dumbass narratives and shit like these goofies been talking about because what you have is like a uh bisexual gay person that battle raps out of st louis that still ain't found himself I hear, I see a lot of shit from him. I see him saying a lot, doing a lot. Now, mind you, with a lot of this shit, if the tables were turned, none of this shit would be like this. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. We all know that the, the freakazoid nigga from St. Louis, we all know that he doesn't win battles. Let's just check the stats, bro. The nigga literally doesn't win battles at all. All his battles, he loses, but still find a way to stay relevant. <clears throat> if you're looking to join Battle Rap and go about it that way, I suggest you don't. But if that's your cup of tea, then so be it. I want to be in a realm where my wins overshadow my shit talking. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather be kicking ass and taking names than out here being the best promoter and marketing person out here. That freaky motherfucker from St. Louis, bro, the nigga doesn't have a clear win in my eyes the past five, almost ten years. Maybe one. But I couldn't call it if you asked me. 
Now, if you notice, everybody been talking about URL did swamp wrong. URL did swamp wrong. They got him looking like a bozo, blase, blase, woo, 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 Why nobody ain't ask me if I feel wrong? Why nobody ain't say, do you feel like you've been done like this, that, and the third, blase, blase, blase? Because if you ask me, I'm well accommodated. <laughs> I'm well off financially. And I'm actually chilling and, and getting back into my realm of things as far as battle rap. Now, mind you, I've battled maybe four times this year. So when you run with the narrative, he not getting booked or he not being put on cars and shit like that. That's goofy as fuck. It's goofy as hell because I don't you, you can call my opponents whatever you want, but I didn't battle. Uh, let's see. Clean stumbles two on two with me and T-Top. Um, and there's something else I did. Now, mind you, a person that's saying I'm not getting booked hasn't battled none this year, I don't think. This would be that person first battle this year. Now, mind you, the battle that he built up so crazy and so wild and this, that, and the third, he chose to straddle away from that and take a bag earlier than that. Which means when, you know, when you're really chilling and you're well off and you're in the financial place that you talk and say you are, you can really, tune, you, can, you can do what you want at the same time. So when I look at the situation, I'm like, okay, either you broke and needed, a, needed money or you either scared and you know that you're not ready to battle me. Either or is cool. I'm all right with that. But don't try to turn that shit around and point it at me to where you have people thinking, a bunch of dumb ass shit. I'm straight, bro. Y'all really, really honestly and truly think if I told you I real look, bro, I need to be on summer man it's woo -de -woo, that they wouldn't have found me an opponent. This is the part where I, I, I don't like because when I was that nigga that didn't duck no smoke and just trying to battle everybody this, that, and the third, blase, blase, I was being told, oh, you're battling all kind of crazy people. You're doing this and that and there and all that shit for nothing. So when I sit back and say, all right, nah, I've been preparing for verb. That battle ain't going down. I'm going to just sit back and chill because I can do that. Then it's like, oh, well, you're not getting booked. Oh, everybody booked but you are this, that, and the third. Let me tell you motherfuckers something about this Summer Madness car. Do you know that, like, about seven to eight, maybe nine opponents that was on that car, I've beat them in some way, form, or fashion in the battle? Does that make sense to you? Almost eight, seven, eight or nine of them people I went to war with and was declared the winner in those battles. That was on Summer Madness. I went to war with Rock. I went to war with Twerk. I did the two on two shit with Av. I did, I, I done battled T-Top. You got DNA talking about he'll kill me and catch a body. Listen, bro, I beat Jerry West. You didn't. Shut the fuck up. I went to war with Ace. I won that battle. I went to war with Fonz. I won that battle. I went to war with Suge. I won that battle. You get where I'm going with this? So when you get to talking and popping and running your mouth, look at the logistics of this shit, man. I really kicked damn near all of their ass, bro. So why can't I chill and just sit back and <laughs> relax? Because you still see me at these events. And I'm still not spending my own money. I'm on vacation. Now, mind you, let's be let's 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 look at this shit the other way around. Y'all do know if this 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 fruit loop from down St. Louis, you know, if he wasn't on the card and he was on stage and he still was supposed to flip the coin, you know what kind of conversation that'll be? I don't even have to be on the card, motherfucker. And I still get asked to be front and center and, and flip the coin because I'm him. I'm that. I, whoop, 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 whoop. I don't even have to battle and I still get paid. That would be okay. It'd be like, oh, shit, the God, verb. He's whoop, de whoop, whoop, whoop. He don't even have to damn battle and he's still in the mix of shit. But when Swamp do it, oh, that's the only way they can appease him is make him the coin flipper. And this, that, and the third, they won't even put him on the card. They turn him into the coin. Bruh, I kid you not. I'm going to shit you not. Bruh, if you already told me not to battle no more and just let me be the coin pl flipper at the price that I was the coin flipper, I will gladly retire from battle rap and just become a professional coin flipper. The crazy thing, I ain't even get to flip the motherfucking coin. 
The shit stayed in my hand the whole time. And so did my check. That's the thing about it. And I still got leverage to battle wherever I want, when I want, and how I want. The minute I get the moving strategic around this motherfucker, now it's like, oh, no, you just you just not getting booked. You just this, that. Man, shut the fuck up. Everything is everything with me, bro. I'm chilling. Left Houston and got a, a, a mobile gaming trailer that I'm going to hook to my truck and ride around and let the kids play PS5, Xbox. I'm going to do tournaments for Madden. I'm going to do tournaments for 2K. Ride around with eight TVs, four on one side with the Xboxes, four on the other side with the PlayStations, two for the Wii and shit like that. You know, so like when they get to talking crazy like I'm missing out on something, I'm really being quiet and leveling up. Because these niggas don't get no money without running their fucking mouth, bro. This goofy ass nigga wakes up every day with swamp on his mind, bro, and it's becoming sickening. You don't want to battle, and I don't want to battle you too much at this point. Now I'm going to be the asshole and say, oh, no, 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 no. I need 40 acres and a mule. I need Jesus Christ to host the battle. I need God and all of his angels in attendance. That's the only way I'm going to battle you now. And since we're not going to get that, let me get a Luke Castro. Let me get a Chess. Let me get a, a, a rematch with Ace. Let me get a rematch with Shug before I go the, the verbal route. Because y'all be letting these motherfuckers confuse y'all. This is the same motherfucker that will sit there and tell you and, and, and bash the women, talk shit to the women like, I would never put my hands on you. You're beneath me. You're not nothing. But you've been fucking with Yoshi, the known, the biggest thought in battle rap. But you a fuck her? But you mean to tell me you won't touch none of these other women? Shut the fuck up. That's no shade to Yoshi either. Young, black, beautiful queen who chose to do certain things in battle rap. That's on her. She's still good in my book, good peoples. But don't tell me what you won't do as far as these women if you you will go that route. Y'all have to look through the bullshit, man. Niggas just be talking. That nigga couldn't figure fucking damn A Ward out. You went to the racist route. I don't want to hear that shit, man. My grandma wasn't no fucking slave. My great grandma wasn't no slave. I don't want to hear that black the white man on our back and y'all can't let the white man beat me because they've been beating us for 400 years man shut the fuck up this is battle rap nigga can you rap better than that nigga or not you trying to take all these angles where you're from you're really not from kansas city you from tennessee who gives a shit the boy done said a thousand times he from tennessee but he lived by way of kansas city i wouldn't give a damn if he came from new jack city can you rap better than the motherfucker it's all this pity party bullshit, man. The shit is weird as hell, man. I've really been chilling and been in a good space, man. I'm telling you, I've been in a real good place, bro. I've been chilling like a motherfucker. I'm going to continue chilling. Who knows? Because <laughs> I like this shit. I've been chilling like a motherfucker. Fuck these niggas, to be honest, bro. None of them rattle me. None of them scare me. None of that shit like that. The thing about it is I keep quiet for certain reasons. I be wanting to see who switch up and who say this and who who turn tail and haul ass and blah, 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 blah. I be wanting to see that because little do you know, I really watch everything. I watch the comments. I watch the tweets. I watch all of that shit. So the minute you jump in my inbox, swamp you to go or see me in public, this, that. Hey, what's up with, remember how that went? Oh, yeah. No, you're not just a fan now. You're not just, no, nah. mm-mm. That's why I like to sit back and watch everything, bro. The same motherfucker that be talking shit, they'll tell you, oh, Swamp believed Be Beasley and Beasley is a, the biggest liar in URL and blah, 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 blah. Then he'll come around and say, well, Beasley did this. I'm not lying. Beasley don't lie to me. Beasley tell me. Man, shut the fuck, though. Come on, bro. This nigga's goofy. I felt like the man at Summer Man is because I beat damn near everybody. I'm out there chilling. I ain't spending none of my money. I'm I'm flipping coins. I'm fucking down like I ain't said I'm fucking. I I wasn't out there fucking. I wasn't having no sex in Houston. I no, no, I've been chilling. No coon no I just been focused on the bag. I ain't you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to take a new route of things and shit like that. I'm a changed man, I'm a better person. Um, you know, 
Coon Noon been the last thing on my mind because I've been focused on the bag. But at the same time, like, you know, Coon Noon is a, a, a wonderful thing. God know he blessed y'all with that thing between y'all legs. Yeah, I just wish y'all, you know, recognize the power that y'all actually have in it and use it for good and not for evil. But that's another subject. That's a different talk. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Maybe y'all will figure it out. Y'all got all the infinity stones between y'all legs, but y'all act like y'all missing a couple. So you, you out here cutting up. It, it's okay. Y'all will figure it out. I love all y'all beautiful black women, okay? <laughs> now, back to what I was fucking saying. But, like, I really want people to know that I'm really just chilling, bro. I'm not salty. I'm not bitter or none of that shit. And, like, the thing about it is, like, a nigga like that'll tell you, oh, shit, this nigga going to London to battle a nigga named Funky D. Not knowing if you step foot in London, a nigga like Funky D has a name like some motherfuckers that we have. A name just like me over there in another area. Why the fuck is it not okay for me to have my own battle rap goals in this shit? Why can't I have my own bucket list and stick to that? I don't care to do the things that other motherfuckers want me to do. I don't. I'm about to add, y'all. I don't care. I don't care to, to, to do what y'all want to do. Nigga, I never thought I would ever be a fucking battle rapper. That was never in the plans. But I always watched it. So the crazy thing is I really get to sit here and say, bruh, you never thought about battle rapping, but not only that, you made it to URL. Not only did you make it to URL, you got one of the best PGs that ever came out. Almost at a million views. Not only did you do that, bruh, you done battled some of the people that you grew up watching. Not only did you battle them, you beat uh, the majority of the people that you grew up watching. Not only that, you, you done touched volume. Not just volume, you done touch Summer Madness. Not just Summer Madness, you done touch known. Not just known, you, you done headlined at cars before. Nigga, the other fucking damn, the other Ultimate Madnesses, those were, when they got brought to the known at Summer Madnesses, those battles went down first. They started the night off. Me and JC headlined at Summer Madness. So I can tell a motherfucker in my area that it really mattered to Bro, I didn't headline some of Madness and known before. Not only that, bro, my talents have led me to getting book overseas. I ain't got no fucking passport. I just went and applied for that shit. Nigga, I'm about to go out the country to rap and cuss a nigga ass out and get paid for it. So the, the, the goals and milestones that these niggas have for me, fuck these goofy ass niggas, bro. I made it. If I don't get no further in battle rap, I've made it. I've done it. Everything I do rattles these niggas. Shake them up. I stand on my own. I pull up damn near in every city by my damn self and be chilling. These niggas have to have 30, 40 niggas with them. I be by myself. Hip-hop is real is in the building. They know that for a fact. Doc in here, he know that. Miss Kelly in she know that. Like, Ryan in here, he know that. Bruh, I really pulls up and be chilling and have these niggas off they rocker. That's how I know I made it. The little dumbass country nigga, these niggas get rattled by that nigga, bruh. Cooler than a fan, I chill out, and I do the shit that y'all don't do, bruh. The fans are more in tune with me. The same niggas that be like, fuck the fans, they don't make the culture, fuck them, blah, 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 blah. Bruh, I hop out and walk the line and shake everybody. And that's what matters to me. Everything in battle rap, Every goal I had, I already attained it. So anything else is just extra. That's why I don't pay these niggas no attention. So when they say, oh, well, Swamp this and they ain't that, and they treat them like whoop de whoop bro, y'all got to get the facts straight. I didn't back out of a trenches car because URL told me to or this, that, and the third. No, I was brought a bigger bag. I know if I had easy booked on my card. And he got the call that I got. He'll be like, hey, bro, I'm going to send you bread back and we'll link up later on. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck them. These niggas is goofy as hell. I just don't be wanting the up-and-coming battle rappers to get caught up in that shit, bro. Because you really a damn feel like you got to live how these niggas tell you to. Meanwhile, these niggas not living how they living, bro. 
I'm not about to argue with a nigga about being booked if you ain't battle in eight months. Your last battle was Shotgun Shug last year. Why you ain't been active and getting booked? Come on, man. Cut it out, bro. I know how the game go. Y'all don't get to see behind the scenes these niggas are, that their plan is I'm not ready to battle that motherfucker. So I'm going to tell them I need 50, 60,000. I know they're not going to give it to me. So it's going to look like these niggas is not, not wanting to battle or the battle didn't go down because I, I know what I'm worth. Be for real. Y'all niggas not worth that bag, bro. Look at your past fucking damn battles. It's not worth that bag. You need to get a check from Twitter. That's where that's where your bag should come from. Twitter. That's the only place you niggas be good at on Twitter. Running your fucking mouth like bitches. Then they will they will down me because I get on Twitter and bro, oh oh he getting sunned. He getting di- bro. I don't know how to argue with you motherfuckers on no fucking Twitter. You gonna win that battle every fucking time, bro. I'm never going to beat y'all at arguing on Twitter. Then when I get to popping my shit, guess what? Them boys going to, if I pull up in your space, them niggas not about to add me to that space. They know better. I don't want to talk about what you did. I'm going to tell you what I did and tell you like, hey, fuck you and your milestones. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing these niggas did in battle rap that I didn't do. And they don't like that. There's nothing you did, did nothing, bro. From the, the big stages, the urban plazas, the Houston, the, I done did it all. That's why you have to use little dumb ass shit. Oh, you blew the tournament. You didn't win the hundred thousand. What happened with Verb and Slaughterhouse? Lost the damn first round. You didn't. You knew you wasn't getting no money off the rip. Believe he done three p. He got a GG ramp. Oh, that's something. Else. Oh, but yeah. Then these niggas will bring it to the point where like I don't want to battle you. I want to slap your fucking face, slap sparks from your eyes. Then I have to chill. And I had to realize, like, okay, this is WWE. These punches ain't real. These kicks ain't real. These chairs and tables and these turnbuckles and all, this ain't real, Swamp. You have to chill, bro. Because when you see these niggas in the flesh, they're going to tell you, hey, this is how the game go. This is how we sell our battles. What's up, man? Shake my hand. Get the fuck (laughs) out my fucking face. (laughs) Get the fuck out my face, bro. A lot of people really been hitting me up like, where you at with it? What's up with it? What's going on? What's, what, what, I'm perfectly fine, bro. I'm chilling. I'm in a very good space, bro. I'm just chilling. I'm chilling, bro. Some madness was a vacation, bro. I, and y'all don't know like how much of a relief that is. To not have to rap, but still get to enjoy a battle rap event? That shit is amazing. I never enjoy myself. I have never been to a club at a, after a battle rap event. I've never been out. I never hit a bar. I never socialized. I go back to my room, bro, and enjoy the fact that I'm not in South Carolina in the country in the boondocks and in the swamp looking at dirt roads and mud. I'm actually in a city. I never, there's nobody that's going to find you and say, hey, nah, swamp line, he hit the club with us after this event. No, ooh, ooh. I lie every time. Hey, bro, I've been at the event for a minute, bro. Let me go to the room and change clothes. I'll meet y'all out there. Sleep. I go to... Bed. I spend my money on Uber Eats. That's it. My going out is going to the fucking event. I see these motherfuckers for eight hours. That's a work shift. Stand up for eight hours. There is no club after no fucking event. Damn that. So fuck these goofy motherfuckers that tell you all this crazy ass bullshit. I'm straight, bro. I, I won some of madness because eight of them niggas died to my hands. So I went to see a lot of my sons get their shit off and have a good event because that's what happened. I went to see my kids go to work. Dope vibes. Fuck these niggas. Don't let these niggas tell you no goofy ass shit, but I'm not playing with none of these niggas. I will never beat them at arguments on no internet, so never look for me to do that. I will never damn go to show and prove them. Then when you call these niggas bluff, them boys to show you something that make them money besides them running their fucking mouth and bumping their gums. Then they go start talking about a bunch of other shit. Well, back when it was just me, Mook, Lux, and, and Rex, <laughs> bro, we talking about dinosaurs again? Shout out to them boys for laying the groundwork. I'm telling you, 
there is no disrespect on what they did for the culture. This is a whole different speed now. That's why niggas, the only niggas that's winning back from that era is niggas like Suge and Rock and the motherfuckers that pull up to the event because things have changed now. Disaster didn't do too good with translating this this event. Rex finally got back in his bag versus Big K. That's because them boys been pulling up now and seeing how this shit go. Fuck a verb. Not worry about no fucking verb. Give me Kess, Lou Castro, or one of them boys, man. I don't care for that verb battle, bro. Now they're going to have to bring me the bag. They're going to have to bring me all the extra shit to do the battle. Now I want 40, 50K. How about that? I know they are not going to give me that, so <laughs> guess what ain't going to happen? And then y'all, they steady talk about me being like under contract or not under contract. If you ain't under contract, why y'all ain't did the battle elsewhere? That boy ain't trying to do the battle nowhere else. I'm not pushing for it to be nowhere else. I really ain't pushing for it. Everybody forget the fact that from the gate, I said, bro, I ain't really interested in no verb. I don't got nothing to talk to that boy about. I don't got nothing to tell that boy. I don't got nothing to say to him. I don't got nothing to rap with him about. I'm good on that battle. He just bumped his gum so much so I was like, all right, let me show you something. Because I know what your problem is. Niggas like Verve, their problem is they don't think Dookie stink until you shove their face in it. So every now and then you got to make them a shit eater. When that's where they was the whole time. Goofy ass nigga. You talking about... The women, you talking about my baby mamas, you talking about all of this weird ass shit. Don't tell me what type of woman you wouldn't fuck with when you fuck Yoshi. That's that's no shade, and I, I know this shit going, whatever, record or this, that, that. Shout out to Yoshi, love her to death, but we know the path that she was on from the gate, man. And that's what you, you chose to infiltrate her mind and manipulate her, and you what you think? You a pimp for her? Man, come on, man. You don't have to pimp her out. She freaky off the gate. So, like, how much money you... I know she holding the dollars because, shit, that's, she doing that shit for the thrill. Let me not say that because I think she changed and turned over a new leaf and ain't trying to go that route no more. I'm not dissing your shit. I love it a deal. But what I'm telling you is, like, Verb will literally shit on these women and tell them, like, oh, you're... I wouldn't dare touch you. You're worth nothing. Look at you and blah, 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 blah. No, bro. Cut the shit, bro. We done seen the routes you take. And that's one who go tell the truth. I know that girl, done, she done slutted you out, boy. I ain't crazy. That girl probably done did all kind of shit to you. And you walk in that room, ain't no telling who fucking who. Mm -mm. Complete sicko, my boy. Shout out to the trappers. We are my back, back, lit. It's the out of here, out of here. Any man battle rap trap, and we definitely got the streets. D out again, man. D out of internet. Put it on your YouTube.